Hi, I'm Leon. I'm a third year Bachelor of Science student here at UC, studying Geography and Environmental Science. I'm here to show you around and introduce you to a few people. Behind me is Ernest Rutherford Building. That's the heart of science at UC. So let's go take a look. This building opened in 2018, so it's brand new. There's plenty of research and postgrad facilities throughout, but we'll stick with what you need to know. On the first floor is a cafe and social area, and learning spaces for geology and geography. On level two, we've got a communal kitchen and dining area, more teaching spaces for geology and geography, shared learning spaces, and two computer labs. There are physics labs on three, biology labs on three and four, along with chemistry labs. Level five is mainly postgrad, research, and staff spaces, but there is one shared learning space and the view is pretty good. That's it for your quick intro to the Ernest Rutherford building. Let's go to check out a few other spots. That's the West building, where most of the geology, chemistry and physics academics are based. This is the Jack Erskine building. So if you're studying computer science, maths or stats, here we're having a few labs and classes in here. campus security office where you can come for lost property, parking permits or if you lose a student ID you can get a new one. This is Oakover House where you'll find your student advisors. They can help with any degree advice, course changes or issues with your program. This is the university bookshop where you can find your textbooks and general books, stationery you see merchandise and gifts. This is the Matariki building, and up those stairs, you find the Student Services Help Desk. The rest of the building houses the Matariki Gallery and the University Central Services, including the Vice Chancellor, Marketing, Communications, Contact Centre, stuff like that. Directly opposite Matariki is Kawaka James Height, otherwise known as the Central Library, and just adjacent to it is the Shilling Club, Cafe and Bar. Inside the library, you'll find plenty of people that can help you find the books you need, including specialist science librarians. It's also a great place to catch up with friends for study sessions, book private study rooms, use the computers, and enjoy the view. At the back of the library on level two, you'll find student care and the disability resource service. Student care can provide guidance and advice on anything that might be affecting your studies or well-being, including budgeting, decision making, settling into UC life, and a whole list of other things. If you have a learning difficulty, mental health condition, physical impairment, or any other condition that can affect your studies at UC, the Disability Resource Service can help. If you need any help with your studies, check out the Academic Skills Centre. They can help with your grammar, time management, and assist you with your assignments. Underneath the library, you have the Undercroft, which has a great communal space and a bunch of cafes and restaurants. There's also STA Travel, the Pharmacy, New Zealand Post, banking facilities, and the UC Say Office. They provide advocacy and welfare for students. They run a lot of the cafes, and they put on some really great events throughout the year. There are plenty of other people around who can offer support too, including the Pacifica Development Team, the Māori Development Team, your RAs if you're in halls, and student mentors. This is the Beatrice Tinsley Building. It's set to open soon. It will house postgraduate science students, with offices for geography, geology, chemistry and physics staff, as well as general offices. It will also link the Ernest Rutherford and Von Haas buildings, completing the science precinct. This is the Von Haas building, the home of biological sciences. In here are postgraduate labs and academic staff offices. C Block Lecture Theatre, you'll probably have some classes in here. Try to get to your classes on time, but if you are late, as a point of etiquette, use the back entrance. This is the C Block Lawn, it's a really cool place to hang out, especially in summer, and you'll often find UCSA events held here. 
North Arts feature theatres, chances are you'll have classes here too. This is the School of Psychology, Speech and Hearing. On the ground floor, you'll find speech and hearing clinics, and the rest of the building contains computer labs and offices for academic staff and administration staff. South Arts Lecture Theatres. The UC Rec Centre. Membership is free. In here, there's squash courts, basketball courts, a gym, spin classes, all sorts of classes. This is the UC Health Centre, here you can get free counselling, subsidised GP visits, and there's also physio and massage services. This is the UCSA Event Centre, a great socialising space. Here you have the Foundry, the main student bar, and down the back behind me, the smaller, bookable version of Bentley's. So, I hope you enjoyed the tour. As you can see, UC is a great place to be. There's also an amazing club scene, with something for absolutely everyone. There's also fantastic events on throughout the year, so get involved and make the most of it.